That's right. And a lonely job it is, too. When you're the muscle, no one thinks about your heart. Very funny. Go on inside. We're looking for comedians. Talk about the honor of your order, but what about my honor? I made a deal. Stug, if you want to join the Vigilant Knights, you have to quit beating people up. My sister Gerva has talked me into joining her Holy Helm Order, but I got a job to finish first. Breaking the knees of debtors for the guild isn't honest work, and you know it. That's why you're giving it up. But I already took the money for it from Uktar, so I gotta follow through. It's like an oath or something. And I know you understand oaths, Skurva. What am I going to tell the Vigilant Knights, Doug? That you're knee-breaking for goodness? Helm's gaze, you sound like a guild lawyer. You must think I'm pretty dumb. And maybe I am. Because I'm going back to return Uktar's money. Don't wait up, Gerva. It might take me a while to crawl back home with two busted knees. the bugbear dragged in can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached City's got a noisy, eh? What can I get you? Make it as easy as possible and leave a big tip. Thanks. <coughs> Check the roof. But you didn't hear that from me. Just between us, I don't believe everything I hear from Director... Sorry, Archduke Gortash. He's entirely too slick to be trustworthy. I wonder if this was proof of my barley. See Alan at the bar for drinks. I'm busier than a two-pecker go. Ah, you should get cards printed. 
from one warrior to another. I must say, it's just embarrassing the way the flaming fist lets this murderer go around killing people and getting away with it. You don't need subtlety to sort these matters out, just persistence. That's what I told Commander Portier, anyway. I'd start a special crime unit. A half dozen hard cases. Grab some likely losers in the back alleys. And beat on them until we got some answers. Commander Portier says she already has some investigator she trusts. Soft talking Namby Pambies, I'd wager. But when they fail, and they will, count on it. She knows where to find Dame Gizar. Then it'll be my turn. I sure wouldn't want to be one of the flaming fists. They got the shittiest job in town. Believe me, I know something about knocking heads together. to know everybody around town but now I'm a new man a worried man a playwright who lost the will to write now I worry no more. Can't write a word? What does it matter? If you've come to the Elf Song to hear what's going on, never fear. Because your girl Una hears everything. Should I have another? Oh, I'll meet to preserve me. I need the courage. No, I guess I've had enough. The brewer who made this beer used to buy all of our barley. But that's over now. Left the crops standing in the fields when we ran from the absolute army. Gone. All gone. If it were only me, it wouldn't be so bad. But I've got mouths to feed. Families upstairs, exhausted. I'm Des Canshaw, with a wife, two kids, and another on the way. Oldest boy, Corson. He means well, but he eats as much as the rest of us put together. I have to find him a place here. A fancy feller called 
Three Piece wants to place Corson as a cleaner in the counting house. But I don't trust him. Maybe I should just join the Flaming Fist and take the signing bonus. What else can I do? Right. It's taking a chance, but it's worth the risk. The farm is all we have, really. Thanks, stranger. You helped settle my mind. Thanks are all I have to offer, though. Male meter bleed for you. someone who'd like a nice piece of jewellery at discount price for... for a good cause. Escape. Escape from Baldur's Gate for my husband and me. Lord Gortash wants Marek's head, so we have to get out. There's a smuggler's sloop leaving for Waterdeep with two births left. But the captain wants a fortune for him. This necklace is all I have. <gasps> I don't know what to say, except thank you. Thank you so much. Rating. If you won't drink with me, I bet this stranger will. Right, stranger? I'm Clovia Throkes. Pleased to meet you. Our son Gasper has finally found himself a proper job. Aye, security at the Steel Watch Foundry. But I still wish he'd taken up the family business. Now, Blas, you know Gasper never had the patience for all the stitching a tailor has to do. Eh, you can't talk to Clo that way, you... You vagabond! Take that back, or else! Oh, Blas, I never knew you had it in you. Let's get another bottle and take it home. Refugees everywhere. Hey there, Captain. Haven't seen you around before. If anyone asks for truffles, that's me. The times are grim, I know. But I tell you what, grim times are the best times to invest in real estate. Roger Gherkins. Realtor. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? I reckon the murder we'd had something to do with it, too. Got punters all intrigued. On that morbid note, what can I get your fine self? It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Yeah. 
Fill your boots, mate. Welcome back. What can I do you for? I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. Stumbling's Parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. those idiots not to let anyone through you name rank and reason for interrupting an active crime scene for your sake the last one better be bloody good <laughs> an adventurer <laughs> fantastic we don't have enough of those in Baldur's Gate Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelmane's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Very nice. Correct on most counts. You might prove useful. Here's all I found. The Duke was paralyzed by poison. Absolutist symbols scrawled on the floor in blood. Hand removed, pre-mortem. The symbol's the bit that bothers most. You use poison when you want to get away with murder. So why leave a symbol at the scene of the crime? It doesn't make any sense. And the removal of the hand. I have a theory, but... Oh, well, you're a civilian. That one will be for me to follow up. She's not just reticent to share her theory, she's hiding a physical object. A document of some sort. I've been working on an assignment. A side project of sorts. I think the removal of the hand is the key, but I just can't figure out how. Corpses without hands are showing up all over the city, together with dioramas of death and murder. It has to be connected. The brutality of it. The unnecessary brutality. 
My theory is that it's got something to do with the Lord of Murder himself, Baal. The higher-ups don't want to hear that, of course. The last thing they need is public hysteria about a cult that was supposed to have died out over a century ago. <sighs> I'd follow up myself. But while this uniform gets me into certain places, it keeps me out of others. Especially places that don't want to be found. Oh, believe me, I wish I could. But that's above my pay grade. Besides, someone's got to oversee the investigation here. Perfect. Uh, unofficially, mind. As far as the higher-ups are concerned, you're still just a civilian. If you end up breaking any laws, well, I won't be able to help you. Report back to me if you find anything. And thank you. If I'm right, you'll be doing a great service to the city. No need. I picked up some extra ships. You didn't have to do that. I know. I wanted to. You just focus on your music. Lucrissa, I'd be more than happy to help you out at work. I could... No, focus on your music. Besides, I'll be living a life of luxury when your school takes off. Right? I keep telling her that. Lucrissa! All right, the hero and I will stop teasing. For now. I'll never get tired of this view. Same here. Same here. you out at work. I could... No, focus on your music. Besides, I'll be living a life of luxury when your school takes off. No need. I'm looking after my girl, Althira. Isn't that right, sweetie pie? Lucrissa! <sighs> All right. The hero and I will stop teasing. For now. Hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? 
Of course. Well, don't stand in ceremony. Come here. left to face that wizard, uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable. It all feels like recklessness to me. I hope you're right. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand, I suppose. I feel the same about her. She certainly is. And she always will be, won't she? Gods, I miss her already. Well, hello. What can I do for you? What's on your mind? There's room for adventure, but no room for me, it seems. You have your fair share of followers already. Hey, soldier. But there is no answer. The staff operate the dumbwaiter at night. Let's have a look at myself. Well met. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. 
chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Not a tragedy, a calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Yes? Ask it. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then... Who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew, marked by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away, but so long as your will remains, you have the only weapon you need. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? This was brewed with my barber. 